And hello, my fellow YouTubers. And welcome to Random Thoughts from me, O Ted Bear. Now, we may have, I may have gone ahead and stated this, but I'll go ahead and state it again. I spent quite a lot of time making sure I'm not losing my mind by trying to find answers to questions. And it is actually these this quest for questions and answers that have become the basis of my show, Random Thoughts. Now, some of the answers are things I've, I've been looking for. Others, not so much. But one of the things I've come to accept in my quest for answers is you can't be afraid of answers you weren't looking for. So, in that spirit, in this great mysteries of life explained, at least in theory, ladies, I'm going to let you know why men think with their dicks. It's a magical story. It's a story of the ups and downs. Of where it's a story that begins as the male goes from a boy into a man. At least physically. It's that magical time when the female of the species goes from goodies to <laughs> yeah, baby. Ooh, I got a present for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I should have pulled that one back a little bit. Now, the actual thinking doesn't go away from the brain, but the blood flow does. Now, blood flow being how the body keeps the mind and the, the body and the mind stocked with oxygen and reduced level causes reduced processing power. Now, you couple that with the inrush of hormones and endorphins and everything that makes gives us that <laughs> feeling you can see why men can be talked into just crazy stuff and basically can be, get talked into pretty much anything if they think they're going to get laid don't tell me it doesn't happen I know it happens. I, it happens to me quite often. Or it, anyway. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We're still talking about that awkward adolescence. Now, thinking between our legs, or thinking with our dicks, isn't something we, as men, set out to learn how to do. It's something, it's something that we had to learn when, when the lights kept, keep going down, so to speak. Now, as anybody with, who has been through puberty will tell you, the hormones of a teenage boy have no limits. So, randomly, rapidly, and often, the male brain will shift from fully functional to... Mm, we're gonna we're, for for the for the sake of identification, we're gonna call it half power. And with such dramatic and rapid shifts, the teenage brain must learn how to continue thinking. This, with all this going on, this is why people, you know. Yes, my son can't concentrate because your daughter keeps wearing leggings. It doesn't. She could be. We, she could be wearing a burlap sack. You know, and he's gonna. You know, and the teenage boy gonna go. Yeah. You know. But the problem of 
of where thinking between their legs or thinking with your dick starts to become a problem is when the brain starts to gain control. And even if you're able to think very well on half power, there's still some things you need full power for. Okay? The brain starts to gain control of the situation, but the rushes become too much to give up. The choice has to be made to integrate this control or to continue living life between their legs. And even those who choose, you know, to integrate this control doesn't mean that they don't still want, you know, they just can choose to think. Lord, I hope I am making sense because I think I've pretty really gone off script today. But uh, getting back to now, some choose to choose to integrate this control into their lives and become what I like to refer to as a grown up. Now, some refuse to integrate this control, continue to think with their dicks, and become what I like to call dickheads. Hey, it's a logical thing to call them, and I know lots of people who agree with me on this. Let me just just go ahead and wrap this up. This has been Random Thoughts from me, Oh, Ted Bear. And as always, I hope I made some sense and I just hope I helped.